When you get to the kinds of prices that we're dealing with today, the 120, 130 barrels a day, you're starting to encroach upon that area where demand destruction will start to occur, whether it's uh, motorists, you know, and filling up their cars or uh, heating or cooling their houses. Yeah, this is an area, this is a level that, you know, consumers have started to push back a little bit and we've seen demand destruction in the past. Now, if you inflate the, the, the barrels from the last time we were in this place in 2013, 2014, yeah. might suggest we could go a little bit higher, but realistically, we will start seeing some people start conserving and changing their right. behavior, which impacts demand. Right, and just this morning, the United States, and I believe the United Kingdom as well, looking to ban imports yeah. uh, from Russian oil in particular. What does that mean for the shale industry? Are you in particular ramping up production? Well, we are, so when we came out with our plans for, uh, for this year, our, our capital is up about 20% relative to where it was last year. Last year we were in just kind of a right. survive and sustain sort of level. We are ramping up, we're re-energizing rigs in Alaska, we're bringing activity back to Canada. And in our lower 48 shell business, to your point, yes, we're, we're systematically adding rigs as we go through the course of the year. So our company is gonna grow our production. And in fact, our projections in the US today, will production will grow eight to 900,000 barrels a day this year. So the market in the industry is responding. You just can't turn on a dime. It takes a while for that, the activity to pick back up the supply chains to get re-equilibrated. Re right. We're subject to those same pressures that other manufacturers are, are having today in the United States as well. But it's coming, and the supply is coming to meet that growing, you know, growing demand level coming out of the pandemic. Coming out of the pandemic, but not necessarily addressing the supply off the back of these Russia war, essentially. Yeah, no, that's true. So now as commodity prices continue to increase because the supply is not there to meet the growing demand, right. how much does the demand start to abate? How much does destruction occur? And when do people change their behaviors and demand start to lighten up? And I think that's what right. all of industry, us as well as many others, right. are trying to understand and predict. Right. Well, speaking of the industry and who's not in the industry, the Biden administration making a statement today saying this is not the time to pad profits in particular. Has he reached out to you in particular? Uh, no, he is not. Um, I think, uh, you know, those are talking points that are a bit destructive. They're not really that helpful to what's going on today. He also has a, the administration has a leasing talking point that's really not very helpful to understanding the current situation today. And, uh, and what, it, what it ends up saying is they just don't understand the complexity of the business today. Um, we're not, we don't, we produce into a market. We're, we're market takers. We don't right. make the market today. We just produce into a market that global demand is describing how much supply is needed there to meet that demand today. And that's what dictates the prices. And, uh, and, and so, yeah, are we gonna make more profits this year with these prices? Absolutely. Do you remember how much money we lost in 2020 with, when the pandemic hit? And yeah. people forget about, you know, the, there's two sides to this coin. The volatility in this business is here to stay. So you have to have a business plan that can address that volatility, survive at the bottom end, you know, fix your balance sheet and do what you have to do to re get returns of and on capital back to shareholders in the upper end of, of the market. Right. And we know these kind of prices probably can't sustain themselves. Right. And the fall will come once, once the things start to re right. re-equilibrate.